In this video I want to show you some of the new capabilities of the Global Wind Atlas when it comes to downloads. So I'll start off by um, selecting Vietnam as a country of interest and you can do that by going to the countries and regions and selecting Vietnam. Now when I do that you can see that it's already got something interesting which is this green tick stamp and that green tick stamp means it's one of the countries where there's been a validation and the validation is using measurement campaigns, high quality measurement campaigns, analysis of the measurement data and comparison with the Global Wind Atlas data. And when you have a country selected that has a validation you can see this green tick stamp here um, and then some metadata about the, the validation. It's saying that the validation was done using nine sites and the mean absolute error was around 20%. So um, what you can do more when you have selected this country um, is to check the reports. So we've got a series of different uh, headings here and reports is one of them. If I tick on that you can see that there are two reports available for Vietnam. The first one is the validation report and there's a validation report that accompanies all the countries where a validation has been done and we will increase the number of countries where validation is done for the Global Wind Atlas. And another report is there called Offshore Wind Technical Potentials Maps and that is a that is a output from SMAP and the International Finance Corporation where an analysis has been done on offshore wind resources. So you can download those reports through this web page. Um, another thing you can do is look at uh, print and this allows you to create a high quality poster um, as a PDF file which you can then um, use for whatever presentation you, you need it for. And then the other one I want to show you out of this selection for the country is the GIS uh, downloads. So with the GIS download you can um, select the, the format or however you want. The, the, the GeoTIFF file will be how you download the GIS data uh, and you can also get a JSON, uh, a GeoJSON file to describe the polygon um, describing the area of interest. In this case it's the country. So um, I sh can show you that the at the moment the layer that is being downloaded for the GIS uh, data is the mean wind speed um, but I can change that by by going to other layers here for example I could select the capacity factor for IEC class 2 turbine and now you see that the the title has changed here too so we'll go back to the mean wind speed um, other things that you can download um, are found out about by pressing this button download. Um, so there are high quality maps um, selected for, for countries so we can put in uh, Vietnam again here. Um, so that's another way of getting to that location. Um, another way to do it is to go to the downloads once again and um, GIS data. So here we can select Vietnam again for example. And then we have more options on what GIS layer we want. Um, a new feature of this um, we have now the Viable A and Viable K available for download for, into GIS. And I'll just tick that one and then you can select the height as well for that and then you press that button in order to to get the download. If you like you can use it as an API so you just need to have the URL with this description um, and using the standard headings as you can see from here to create the right URL 